So when I start treat training with my students, they ask a lot, well, I don't want to have to fade out treats. I'd rather do it without. What you don't realize is you're missing a huge part of the connection and communication and bribery and motivation to the dog. So when I work the dog for food, I'm actually motivating them to engage in the game, engage with me. I use marker words like yes, which he picks up on. He knows yes comes with food. It comes back to Pavlov's law, to the association of a certain sound, to the reward of food and what actually happens to them, how they salivate and they get excited for that food. We take that emotion and that drive and we focus it on training. So how to fade out the food, which I'll go in depth in my course is, we make a systematic approach to fade out the food while leaving behind enthusiasm and engagement and emotion to connect with the dog. And then we create a sporadic routine of treats so that the treats only come sporadically. They can never tell when the treat's coming because if I know that I'm gonna get rewarded, it becomes less motivational, it becomes less rewarding because I know I'm gonna get it. But if I can't tell when it's coming and it just comes randomly, you know, every third command, every fourth command, 